Um, okay, so here GIS data, this is just to quickly show you. And now if you are interested after this webinar, uh, I'm happy to show you more also about the GIS, just get in touch with us and we can then schedule one-on-one -on -one call. But I believe also we can provide you with the free 5C demo license. This is something that's available to all the attendees of, of the webinar. So you just need, I believe at the end, there will be, uh, uh, um, uh, you, you can enter your details and we will follow up with the demo license for you. So is that correct, Gasper? Can you confirm it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post, there will be a button with the link where you can send, or just send us an email at support at Modeler, um, to to request the five seat demo license for the whole team and okay. we'll follow up yeah okay so right now what i i have here is geolocated data again i could use the open street map importer but for this city i have some shape files available and geojson so what i want to do is i just want to quickly bring in some buildings obviously right now the mapping is already there uh, in case you are starting with this, you need to do the mapping. So you need to map from the attributes of your shapefile or GeoJSON to what modeler understands as a parameter. And once this mapping is done, you can export it so that you can reuse it at some later point. And then once the mapping is set, you can just go here and import GIS layer, which will quickly generate you the buildings. And now all of these buildings that we have generated right now, they are they are actually modular parametric buildings, meaning that they still respond to all the parameters and all that I've been showing you previously, but they are basically uh, existing city. This can be very useful also to determine what is the what is the existing uh, what are the existing capacities of the city. And I'll go here, map also the context because this one, Right now, you can see that here, instead of importing as modular buildings, we are importing as simple building volumes. Uh, this one is quicker because it doesn't generate the, the modular buildings, but just the building volumes. So there are no calculations behind it, but still uh, it gives you the, the uh, some feeling of the context. And this way, you can also import the city blocks. Again, import GIS layer. It gives us the city blocks, and now this is practically the same as if we would if we would create this from from scratch by hand, right? So here I will just turn off the location snapshot, so you can even see some of the city blocks here became red, meaning that the city has a problem with the data because obviously here the buildings are taller than 25 meters, so in this case it can be used as something that. Uh, help cities fix the data if if this is the case 